What's going on guys? It's Trey Mathis here from WifiEntrepreneur.com. So glad to see you guys landing here on my page today. It's another beautiful day here in Washington, D.C. I'm super excited. I just finished hanging out with a good buddy of mine. We were over catching the Wizards game and I want to talk with you guys a little bit about my experience at the game today. So let's go ahead and get started. This is the Wi-Fi Journal. Hey guys, if this is your first time checking us out, this is on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to our social media channels. We're here to help you turn your passion into profit so that you can make money online. Like I mentioned in the opener, I just finished, just got back home from watching the Wizards uh, play the Atlanta Hawks. It was a pretty cool game. I mean, for all sense of purposes, neither one of the teams are very good right now. However, uh, I had an absolutely fantastic time. I'm pretty sure if you're a Wizards fan, you had a great time because they won. Um, but I got the opportunity to spend some time with a good buddy of mine. I'm actually rocking one of his logo branded hoodies today for this video because I just got back. And I want to tell you guys about that also, which is pretty interesting, but just hanging out with him. I talked about it in a couple of videos before. He was my best man in my wedding, one of, the, one of my great friends. And we were just hanging out the game, just him and I. We were in a suite. Uh, uh, I don't want to try to wow you guys with the sweetness of, of the living the sweet life of being in the suite, but it was pretty sweet. <laughs> it was pretty sweet hanging out in the suite. I mean, everything you can imagine. It had its own bathroom, had the leather reclining seats, it had the tabletops, the bar. I mean, it was fantastic. But what was better than all of that was the conversation. It was just him and I, it was a great opportunity. Uh, he got the tickets, uh, invited me out. Uh, I'm sure he, he invited some other uh, friends of ours and they, uh, for whatever reason, couldn't make it. It was very unfortunate because, I mean, here it is. I, I would imagine this sweet hose about 30 people or so and it's just two people in there. And we often get into conversations about how often people miss out on opportunities in life because they don't want uh, say yes uh, often enough. I know it's a big push out there in the marketplace to learn how to say no so that you can have more time for yourself, but uh, it's a lot of great benefit in saying yes as well, saying yes to new experience, saying yes to new opportunities. Uh, when someone invites you to, to, to try and do something that you've never done before, you know, being able to say yes to experiencing and seeing where it may go, you just never know. I mean, I had no idea what we were going to be walking into. Uh, as far as just seeing that, you know, when I first moved to DC some years ago, uh, I, I was in the military and I remember they would give tickets to the military, to vets, and I would imagine those tickets would have been about $15, $16, if you will. And that was my first experience at the Wizard. It's probably one of my early, you know, first basketball games going to, of course, in my adult life being uh, in the military. I was very young. What I'm getting at is is that in that, in that arena, uh, thousands of people, it's people who are going there for the $15 ticket, seeing, th seeing something for the very first time, opening their minds, getting excited about something that they may not have ever experienced before. And then there's others getting that exact same thing in a whole nother level. Here it is, I'm getting the exposure of what it's like to be in a nice, luxury box branded box for 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 this company here in this arena i'm just amazed you know like oh you you can go from having 15 dollar tickets that you can get for free and that's amazing to being free in a in a sky box and and you know i'm not all just preaching the, the wealth and all of that but i am ex preaching the exposure i mean coming from uh third war in houston texas uh, I was exposed to a lot of bad, but at the same time, my mom worked very hard to expose me to a lot of good, and luckily, uh, that exposure showed me what good was possible. And then later in life, God has blessed me enough to be exposed to things like penthouse suites and, 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 and fancy places and, and so many great and wonderful experiences. I've been, lived such a wonderful and blessed life traveling the world, seeing uh, wonderful things, meeting wonderful people. Uh, but I often think, of what my life would have been if I never continued to grow 
and push to reach that next round, that next level of, of, of exposure, of being, of seeing what's out there and available. So it was wonderful to spend that time with him, one, one of my best friends. He is my best friend, my only best friend, quite honestly. It's, it's unless, you know, my wife, my kids, my, my mom is up there in the list. But this guy is my best friend, my best man, my wedding, etc. cetera. Um, and we just talked about so much wonderful stuff. And it's just great to, to share that time. And, and he's removed himself from social media. I talk about following all my social channels. He's not on it at all, and, and he's talked about in that time how that ex time being away from the social channels pushes him to make some deeper connections with, uh, with people on a more realistic basis, you know, uh, getting behind just what you believe you know because you see it on social media. Now, of course, using social media is a great opportunity for us to spread our message, our brand awareness, etc. Uh, but when it comes to personal, when we talk about that personal business balance, uh, you may look to see that, you know, although Facebook may give you the business, you're being able to reach and be put that brand in front of many, many people, that friendship is something that's connect, that's more of a connection, which is more or less why I start shooting these videos, because I want to draw a connection between you and I whoever's watching this video and that's another thing that we got to discuss too you know for those out there shooting videos or uh, writing blogs or whatever it is you're using whatever platform you're using to share your message oftentimes we think to ourselves man you know once I start making you know ten thousand dollars a month with this business I'm gonna really get it going on once I can, you know, get a million followers on YouTube, then I'll really start putting together some great content. Oh, when I get, you know, 20,000 followers or 10,000 followers on, on Instagram, oh, then I'm going to perfect my content where it's really good. But what about all the 9,000 people that are following you before you hit the 10,000? What do and what should you provide them in that time? Should you be providing them value and value in a way that it makes them excited to tell someone else about what it is that you have going on? I would think yes, but oftentimes we think like, ah oh, man, if I, you know, as soon as I get, you know, 10,000 followers, I'm gonna, I'm gonna really give it all. I'm, I'm gonna really, but the reality is it should be about impact more than likes or followers. It should be about what it is that you're excited about sharing, ensuring that you are doing it, sharing it the best way possible. And if you want a lot of people to hear your message, then using some of the techniques that we talk about inside of our training center to spread that message, spread that message worldwide. There's many ways that you can get your message out there now into the marketplace. Uh, and that's what wifientrepreneur.com is truly about. It's about helping you identify what message you want to share with the world, whatever you're excited about. I say turn your passion into profit, whatever you're passionate about. You're passionate about knitting, you're passionate about fishing, you're passionate about shopping, you're passionate about helping others see the, themselves in a new light, you're, having about motiv you're, you're, you're passionate about motivating, you're, you're passionate about health. Whatever it is you're passionate about, there is a way for you to do what you love and make money and uh, there's also a way for you to do what you love and make money online and that's where wifientrepreneur.com comes into play we want to help you turn your passion into profit so i'm going to leave it there uh it's pretty late you need to go and uh see the family a little bit spend more time with the family right now but i don't know what this video is about i really believe it was about saying yes more often uh, be willingness to venture out and expose yourself to new things because greater opportunities comes from your willingness to step out of your comfort zone. Shooting these videos right here. I mean, I, I shot a video uh, early on when I made this commitment and I got a guy from Martha's Vineyard start to comment on my thread. It was pretty wild because here it is, I'm shooting a video, I'm thinking no one's really paying attention to it. And then someone in Martha's Vineyard is like, wow, I like this video. Oh, I'm glad that you're local, etc. It's like, wow, who knew that, you know, someone is connecting. So should I think that, oh, well, because I don't have 10,000 views on my videos yet, I should stop making the videos? Or should I say, well, if one person is listening and I can help that one person turn their passion into profit, 
then maybe I should focus in on that. And then if that turns out that that's successful, maybe someone else will come along and do the same and then they'll have the content to go back and check out to experience the entireness of what wifientrepreneur.com has to offer so i'm going to leave it there guys uh, if you or anyone you know are looking to turn their passion and profit and make money online tell them about our page i'm going to leave a link below to our online community a link below to our training center and uh, probably a link below to some personal development of some sort uh, because truly uh, personal development is where it's all at, where it starts, and uh, yeah, so I'm glad I got the exposure tonight, I'm glad to live that sweet life, uh, if you're interested in living a sweet life, I'm, I'm, I'm rooting for you, go for it, know that it's possible, know that it's things right around you that are bigger and larger than you ever even imagined, you know, you're thinking, wow, this is so nice, and it's great, you should be very uh appreciative and um what's the word i'm looking for um grateful is a very good word but you should be very grateful for whatever it is that you have if you're watching this then you have phone wi-fi a computer or something some people don't have that and what would they do to have that you know they would be like oh my god i would do anything to have that opportunity same exact thing. I'm outside this arena, never seen the Roosters game. They give me free tickets. I'm like, wow, this is amazing. I've never seen this before. This is awesome. And then a couple years later, just about growth, development, more exposure, having wonderful friends around me. Um, I'm exposed to something 10x, like, whoa, what is this life like? You know, it's just great to have that exposure because you know it's possible to, to have, but more or less, even with that, you know, I want to say one last thing. Even with that, oftentimes, you know, you could be in the suite and you think to yourself, man, I, I can't wait till one day I can have a suite. Well, reality is, today you're in the suite. You know, it's about today. So just take it all in. It doesn't have to be your suite for you to live the sweet life. <laughs> I'm going to leave it there, guys. Till we talk again, take care and be blessed. Peace.